Right, carrying on from the bench. Didn't have a drink of water, ain't really thirsty. I've got a whole pint of water, more than a pint, in my bag. I'm just going to take my time a bit. Do a little bit of video and then I'll take some photos. This is one of those small tracks that lead up with another track that will take me still on the north side of Whirlbury Wood. But we've gone across the main Q-Stoke path. And this is one of the paths I obviously I use. And there's another one lower down which I did go down if I'm going down to um, Q-Stoke, to Sand Bay and the beach. There was somebody not that far ahead, but they've got a dog. They might have taken off quite fast by now. They, you know, it's downhill, isn't it? Yeah, through there you've got the, the beach and the sea. It'll be very windy on the beach today. 20 mile an hour winds, apparently. Now the trees are still looking lush. They've still got that very lovely yellow look when they're fresh. But some have got tinges of brown on though. But they still look healthy, pumping out the O2 for us. And I always feel better when I've been in the wood and had a good dose of pure oxygen, because that's how I see this place. This is an oxygen factory. And I always feel better when I used to come up in the wood just to get the oxygen. I've had all the windows open in my place, but it doesn't replace this. It doesn't replace this oxygen. The photosynthesis going on in the cells. The chloroplasts are at work. The chlorophyll. Mixed with carbon dioxide. Produces uh, and starches, produces uh, energy for the plant and pumps out oxygen for us. That's what it does photosynthesis. The day they make a human that can photosynthesize will be amazing. Look at that, look at that though. You go right into that wood, look. Go right in. Right out. In a minute we'll join up with a path I take if I'm going to go down to the beach. Could be here at this tree. Some paths have faded. Um, this does look a bit like a path but it could be the next tree. But if people aren't using the trees the paths fade. Might be the next tree. Might be from this one. No, it must have been. Let me see. It's got to be somewhere. Yeah, no, it's not that one. It's got to have been that one that I take when I go down. It's really overgrown, isn't it? That's amazing. There can't be many people using it. That's a way up. If you want to go up now, on to, back onto that path, you can. Let's just check the time. Feels about half four. Four thirty-five. Not far out, was I? Four thirty-five. Yeah, that's bloody weird. That. That's really overgrown. really grown a lot, I can tell you that. Really grown a lot. One day I can look back at these videos, you see, when I, you know, 40 years time, who knows if I'll be able to walk along there, I don't know. If you don't record it, it's just all in your memory, isn't it? Whereas, uh, I've got enough videos to keep me going. When I, uh, if I get to that stage, 
It's very overgrown now. It's like a jungle now. <sighs> yeah, I recognise this joint. So somewhere I used to be able to go up that way. Look how overgrown it's got. <sighs> Come into a beautiful, beautiful scene in a minute as we get round this corner. It's coming ahead now with these beautiful trees that I have videoed and photoed for 10 years. <sighs> and I still can't stop videoing them because they're so beautiful. You know, you come out here and look at it, it hits you, the beauty of these trees. Beautiful. Just gonna stop and take a picture. Right back on again. In this beautiful area of the wood on the north side. These very, very tall trees on this side, not you know, very beautiful, beautiful trees here. Majestic. Reaching for the sky. This is a beautiful part of the wood, this is. They seem to be smaller on the other side, the trees. More like shrubs. You've got lots of those, um... I knew the name a minute ago, I can't think of it at the moment. Yew trees, that's it. A lot of yew trees outside and further over, but here... For uh, not very far, really, you've got... Oh, these beautiful trees, these beautiful tall trees. There's lots and lots. You can feel the oxygen as you breathe here. Oh, it's absolutely magnificent. It really is. What did I say the time was? Half past four, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, I wondered what it was for a minute. I just got to put it on hold for a minute. Right, just met a lady with a dog, so I turned off at that point. Come back on, I walked along a bit more of the north side where all the beautiful trees are. And now I've come up on the top and going towards the south side of the wood down a narrow track. She told me she'd just seen quite a large stag um, and one of her dogs has still chasing it she runs because it ain't come back yet um yeah we, i just said to all this deer and that she said yeah i just seen one <sighs> hello <sighs> yeah she said i've just seen one and uh they're everywhere apparently <laughs> I mean, no, I've seen them before, I've seen them as well. You can see why I go off track though, can't you? Because you keep meeting people. You can't. It's weird, after I met that woman, and there was two blokes on their own with no dogs. There was one with a big, very tall man with a long, thin face and thin beard. Um, then there was another bloke See, men suffer really because people are wary of men on their own. It's a, I mean, it's a shame, really, isn't it? Not all men, most of them are all right anyway. Of course they are. I would say 99% of them are all right. Anyway, this is going now. See, with the tall trees are dwindling now and we're getting more of these smaller ones the odd tall one of course the odd oak turns up here and there and um like that that's an oak protected species lots of little pathways going off <coughs> this is a well used route by me this one and i get leading back down to uh, Bristol Road lower or Bristol Road upper I never really know I'll be going down that way and then heading towards Tesco's and back 
through the back streets home. If it wasn't so win windy, I'd probably go along the seafront. I still don't know whether to or not. Even now, I don't really know whether I'll, I should do that or not. Tell the truth. Do you know what? We stayed up for hours watching the men land on the moon. It was all crackly. It wasn't very clear. That's why some people reckon it wasn't real. But tonight, with all the effects, they can enhance it so that we can see it clearer, apparently. And, um... It's only... All, I'm sure we spent hours. I felt as if we were up all night watching it. And then, and then they landed. It's a moment in time that I was on the planet when it, I was on the Earth when men landed on the moon. And um, we'd orbited it several times, so it wasn't as if we couldn't get to the moon. It was just um, trying to perfect the landing side of things. So. We did actually orbit um, the moon several times uh, before I even go into land um, on other occasions. So, and it wasn't actually very far from the orbit down to the surface of the moon. So, it is possible. I mean, they land on the Earth, don't they, from outer space? So, I think it's true. I think it was just very inferior. We're used to like all this high tech stuff now. So it does seem a bit like a, a fiction, you know. It does seem a bit like that. Because the fiction they did in those days was more advanced. Oh dear. Anyway, this is a, always a darker side here with the yew trees. This is predominantly yew tree around this way. Someone's had a barbecue by the look of it. Sat on the log one evening. Cut themselves something. They should take their litter home with them. Small tea. Foil is dangerous for animals. So that's not a good thing. And <sighs> Yeah, I should be home for six. So that would have been a nice... Sort of three hours walk of a sort, I say two, two, two and a half hours, uh, which is roughly what I would have done if I'd still been living down the road, just come up here and wandered around for a couple of hours. That's what I used to do, get some oxygen mainly. And uh, now I've got to walk the other side of Weston. I might do, I might get the bus, I haven't decided yet. Right, over and out.